Madam Secretary, uh, back in February, I recall that you and I were on the phone and uh, on another important issue, but uh, that it had to come to a premature end or uh, come to an end because you had to attend a memorial service for uh, Jaime Zapata. Uh, do you remember that conversation? I don't remember the conversation. I do remember the murder of Jaime Zapata. Well, it, uh, uh, I won't forget it because it was sort of uh, just at a point in which Fast and Furious obviously was becoming a major issue uh, both with Senator Grassley and, uh, and with my committee next door. Uh, since that time, we've done a lot of work, and I, I want to run you through some questions that concern me that fall within your lane. One of them is, earlier today, you've repeatedly said that this was an ATF operation. Uh, out of concern for the investigatory process and the prosecutions that are ongoing, we've, uh, we've avoided uh, interviewing Lane France. Do you know Lane? I do not. Do you know he uh, works for you? He's an ICE agent that was part of Fast and Furious. I know there was a, a, a field agent assigned to a task force. This is all things I've learned in the wake of your investigation, assigned to a task force for deconfliction purposes in the wake of uh, the two ICE um, uh, matters that were resolved by the AUSA to be within the context of ATF. Well, it's, it's our judgment that he likely was very aware that there was gun walking going on, had that information. The question is, when you assign somebody like that, do you have a flow of information back to your department so that your, somebody in your department could have, should have, or would have known uh, about the operation? Uh, Representative, we have hundreds of operations and, and thousands of agents on a daily basis. So uh, to, to my knowledge, uh, uh, the fact that an agent was assigned uh, somewhere okay. uh, about some matter would not necessarily come to so, even, even to ICE headquarters, much less to DHS headquarters. Okay, so I guess uh, I'm going to make an assumption here, and that is that it's a fire and forget. You, you, sent, you sagun these people over there. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Sorry, please. Fire and forget. Kind of like the missile that you just send off and it looks for heat, and if it hits something, so be it, even if it's one of the friendly aircraft. Well, I don't think that's a, I Well, let's go through this. Accurate. You, uh, you testified that uh, in December you became aware of uh, a Fast and Furious. I said uh, after the death of Agent Terry, yes. Okay. And the details you became aware of basically after our investigation began putting those details out. Uh, I, I became aware, uh, as I have testified here and in other committees, after the death of Agent Terry and, and knew uh, some of the details uh, and the name Fast and Furious, certainly no later okay. than March. You testified here today that you, uh, you haven't talked to Eric Holder about this. That is correct. And he testified here that he only knew about it a few weeks before uh, the interview he had in May here before this committee and that he basically heard about it in the newspaper. So uh, you have two dead agents that worked for you, one north of the border, one south of the border, and particularly in the case of Brian Terry. He was gunned down with two weapons from Fast and Furious. It has been months, and you tell me that you're not, uh, you, weren't, you weren't doing it because of an IG investigation. Well, let's go through a few questions here, Madam well, Secretary. Well, wait, wait just no, no, a minute. No, no, wait, wait just a minute. Let me finish my question. Madam Secretary, let me finish my question. Go ahead, but that, that insinuation is not you're, accurate. Madam Secretary. You, uh, you, we could have the record read back and take a few minutes. But no, that's the insinuation I'm objecting to, look, but go ahead the, and ask your question. You said because of an IG investigation you were not having further investigation, except you became aware of this uh, in December. The IG investigation began in February. For three months you had a dead Border Patrol agent and there was no IG investigation. What did you do between December and February to find out about Fast and Furious since a, a and we can give you the documents, we're happily, uh, we get you the unredacted ones if we could get them from uh, other parts of government. You, you, people on the ground knew those were Fast and Furious weapons found at the scene within hours. So it wasn't something that wasn't known, it was known at the time. The question is, Homeland Security employee is gunned down two weapons found at the scene, part of Fast and Furious. Agents on the ground know that it's Fast and Furious before Brian Terry was laid to rest. Three months go by, and, that now, and today you told us about an IG investigation. My question is, first of all, 
do you have an IG and are you going to uh, have your IG look into what happens when you second agents and uh, they are aware of gun running or sorry gun walking and do nothing? Is that appropriate for you to have your IG uh, investigate? Yes or no, please? Well, that, that I, I think I, I, that question merits a, a, a lengthier response, and I'm glad I'll look to give for, it to you. I'll look forward to that in writing. But back to the basic question. You knew about when Brian Terry was gunned down, you knew, in fact, he was gunned down. People on the ground knew that he was gunned down with fast and furious weapons. Three months went by. What did you do between, between December and February to find out the details about his loss of life? And aren't you outraged here today that you, if you were not informed, that you were not informed that weapons allowed to walk into drug dealers, cartels' hands had killed one of your agents and during those three months they kept it from you? I think your insinuation that Ma'am, please answer the question. Don't, uh, don't, please don't talk in terms of Chairman, insinuation. May I, may I have the opportunity to answer, please? Madam Secretary, I, I, if you would try to succinctly answer this question, and then if you'd like to elaborate, I, the Chair will give you the time. Well, what, let me make a suggestion, if I might, because he's com, uh, the representative is combining a lot of different things. If he would give me his questions, I'll be happy to respond in writing. Well, the one question I'd like a succinct answer to is, you became aware that Brian Terry had been gunned down. People on the ground at that time knew they were fast and furious weapons. That was December. Between December and February of 2011, what did you do to, to discover further the conditions around his death? One. And then the second question, which was equally straightforward, aren't you here today furious that the Justice Department, not ATF, the Justice Department withheld from you the knowledge of Fast and Furious during this entire period of time, including one in which you had an agent dead? I think we all should be outraged at the death of Agent Terry. Um, and I think the first thing is to recognize who actually killed him and that our number one priority was to make sure the shooters were found. Some had gone back into Mexico and that the FBI was in charge of that investigation. Several days, as quickly as I could get to Arizona after his death, I met with the FBI, their agents in charge. I met with the AUSA who was going to conduct that investigation. And that was my number one concern, that those responsible uh, for the shooting death of Agent Terry were brought to justice. And that's what I was being kept apprised of. I'll be, I'd be happy to answer your other questions in writing. Ma'am, we'll be glad to follow up uh, in writing. And I thank the Chairman for his indulgence.